Let's do this. Okay, hi everyone. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I, you know, when I sent out my request for questions from people, I was expecting uh, maybe one or two if I was lucky. And I received like, what is this? It's like, way more than I expected. Thank you so much. And like, hopefully, I'm hoping that I get through all of them. So uh, thank you again. And yeah, let's get started. So the first question I have here is wondering if there's anything particular that got me into art or if it's something I've always done. I actually... The only reason I got into art was because I was writing stories, and sometimes when I was writing those stories, I ended up just not being able to describe or show in a way through words how something looked, the outfits especially of the characters. I was just super interested in getting out there, and uh, this was probably in s sixth grade or so. I ended up just drawing, and eventually I was given a sketchbook, and I just kept on going from there. But I have always done it in a way. It was just mostly prevalent after that point. Okay, the next question. Are you studying art in school? I am actually graduated from a uh, school. I graduated from a liberal arts college, which essentially means I had the fundamentals and the basics of art in that time. I was a painting emphasis, but I just due to the way the sequence went, I did sculpture, I did graphic design and stuff, uh, but primarily did painting and secondary I did printmaking and I just loved printmaking. Okay, next question. What is my favorite drawing and or sketching medium? I am actually partial to pens. I think it has to do with the fact that you just kind of have to deal with your mistake at that point, and you have to start over if you want to get it right the next time. Erasing, I find, it just kind of, you can't commit to your mistake at all and see it, and you can't go back to it. So by sketching in pen, it means that it's there. I can't stop it. I can't erase it. I have to move forward, but I can still see where I was. So this question had a lot of questions. <laughs> to it. So here we go. What is your favorite medium? I really enjoy at the moment soft pastels, as you guys may have seen, but my favorite medium ever is printmaking, actually. And it's not the kinds that I've been sharing with you guys. It's actually, I really love etching, but I don't have the facilities for that right now. What is my least favorite medium? Watercolors. I know people say that it dries fast. I don't have the patience for it. I have more patience for oils. Do not have any patience for watercolors. My favorite quote, happiness is not a destination. It is a method of life by Burton Hills. If I lived in the Renaissance area, era, would I still be an artist? Uh, not entirely sure. I think I could definitely do what da Vinci did be an event inventor and just do all the things. How long have you been doing slash interested in art? I was interested in storytelling probably from a really young age. I actually have a completely finished chapter book that I did in fourth grade. And then I only really started applying the art later, as I said, in sixth, seventh grade. So I guess I've always been doing art, but that's primarily when I began doing, doing art, you know? Is art something that your relatives slash family also enjoy? Um, my dad is kind of creative with his marketing at his work. My sister, my youngest sister, is actually going for art also. She just started college with that. My family, I mean, they, I think they really enjoy it. A lot of them have just kind of do whatever. My grandpa actually was into art, but he didn't really care for the subjectivity, so he ended up not following through with it as a life choice. Uh, what is the best thing that has ever happened to you art-wise? Definitely going to the Oatly Academy of Visual Storytelling. I had great fundamentals for at my liberal arts college, but it really didn't help me, you know, figure out what to do with my career as an artist. The Oatly Academy definitely filled that gap there, and so that's the, probably the best thing that's ever happened to me on that way. Do I have a favorite flavor of ice cream? If so, what is it? Uh, I guess chocolate? Chocolate's good? Yeah. So uh, there was a few questions about inspiration. First things first, what do you do to find inspiration when you just don't know what to draw? You know, I don't always find something that inspires me. Sometimes I just stare at the screen and look at other artists and be inspired by what they're able to accomplish. So that's a difficult question. Sometimes I just don't draw and sometimes I don't draw for a really long time, it feels like. Sometimes it's just 
you know, I just look at pretty pictures on Pinterest. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, what inspires my artwork and my art style? Oh gosh, I, these guys, guys, these are all really, really hard. Um, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. I actually, I started off, I picked up a how to draw manga book and I had picked up how to draw books before, but the manga book is what really, I was able to figure that out. And so I was doing a comic and I did a comic for my newspaper in high school and also in college and then I did a webcomic for a while. So I would say manga definitely inspired it. The mangaka group Clamp really inspires it. My style is derivative of that, I think, but I think I've kind of owned it since then. And I think a lot of the whimsical stuff that I try to incorporate, and I'm not sure that I'm always successful with this, a lot of the whimsical stuff that I have towards my art is definitely inspired by Hayao Miyazaki and the Studio Ghibli films. Like, that is definitely... I so much inspiration there. So my top three inspirations would be Hayao Miyazaki, specifically his flying machines and stuff. Love the flying machines. Another thing would be pictures of mountains. I definitely one day want to live in mountains, round mountains, just gorgeous. Mountains are gorgeous and the way that light goes off of them and stuff, that's definitely something I really really enjoy. And I'll tie into that, I also love the wilderness. I definitely want to have that house in the middle of the woods with a studio it's in a tower that goes above the canopies like you know goals <laughs> i also get really inspired by other artists and actually a really good one would be games oh my gosh the artwork in some games nowadays is just i i'm like i want to do that sometimes <laughs> specifically ori in the blind forest like when i saw that i was like oh my gosh i th i want to do that <laughs> Um, but there's so many things that I could do and I just kind of have to figure it out, you know? So yeah, again, thank you everyone so much. Like, oh my gosh, so many questions. Uh, I was completely unexpected. Thank you. I hope I answered them in some capacity to how you guys were hoping that they would be answered. And thanks and yeah, have a good day.